Chapter 2-1, Frequency Tables. Before we get into frequency tables, it's important to go over some of the vocabulary that I'll be using today. Three of the main words are going to be as follows. The first one is going to be statistics. Now, whenever I talk about statistics, it's any sort of collecting or organizing of data or information. Now, what's data? Any numerical piece of information that you may collect. And finally, a frequency table is a way of kind of organizing these pieces of data into groups. There's a few pieces of information that we do need to know before we get into our table. It's important to know your scale. That is, finding the smallest number and the largest number of your data. That gives you a good idea of what your range is. Then, it's important to know intervals, which means you want to organize your data. In my case, I made data groups of 30. I went from 51 to 80, from 81 to 110, and from 111 to 140. It's very important to be consistent. Finally, I use tally marks, which are very simple, and there's little lines that help you keep track. So let's do our first frequency table. It says Mr. Thompson asked his students to name their favorite food. And as you can see, I got a lot of responses back. It's time to organize. In my table below, you'll see the first category is food, with the letters P, T, H, D, and C. I did that to organize my categories so I knew what the possible choices were for the students to vote for. The column to the right is the tally mark. That's where I counted up all the votes that each category got. The last is frequency, which is simply I counted up all the lines that I drew, helping me figure out which groups got how many votes. Now that wasn't so bad, now was it? This has been your introduction to frequency tables. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please email me or visit me on my website. Thanks a lot and have a great day.